Hey y'all, Joe here. I'm in El Paso, Texas. I'm in zone 8A and it is hot today. It was 104. Uh, I got my husband's phone so you could see. It's, it's insane, it's too hot. So I just wanted to show you guys what's still alive in my garden and what's surviving in such hot heat. And I'll show you how my vegetable garden is doing. Last year, I didn't have a shade on it. Everything died. But this year, my husband put a shade on it. So let me show you. Let's do this. Okay, you guys, not gonna lie, it's the next day. I didn't wanna be standing out in 104 degree weather. So let me show you my flower garden. Oh my gosh, butterflies. Yay. I got butterflies. Look at this beauty. She's on my pin cushions. Oh. And this monarch is on my blue mist. They, the butterflies love this blue mist. So if you're looking for like a butterfly garden, this blue mist is the first thing you should get because it always has butterflies. My salvia right here, that always has hummingbirds. And this one right here, uh, I believe it's my his hyssop. That one has like these light purple also flower spikes that come out and the bees swarm to it. I could have hundreds of bees when that has a flower. When it flowers, it has hundreds of bees. Okay, well, let me go through my garden. If not, I'm going to be here stalking the butterflies forever. Okay. Sorry, butterfly. I didn't mean to scare you. This is what's doing well. Okay, I have... What are these? Oh my gosh. I can't even talk. Carnations. These are carnations. These right here, the little purple ones. That's verbena. This burgundy one's a carnation. This magenta one, I believe, is an aster. This one next to, in front of the aster is also a carnation, but uh, it's barely getting buds. It's just too hot. It had flowers, but it got too hot and the flowers are like, nope. Um, I planted dahlias and these two, since they're in the sun, the throbbing sun, uh, they didn't make it. Or, well, it looks like they're struggling. But these three dahlias are doing really nice. I still haven't got a flower, but I'm hoping soon. I don't know if dahlias like this hot weather or not, but they're kind of be being shaded by the dill. So when the sun is blasting from this side over here, it kind of covers it. The salvia covers it, and this dill covers it and shades it a bit. This is my canna. It's yellow. And the leaves have been burnt, but looks like it's getting better now. My petunias are doing really well. Those do really well in full sun. This is a Shasta daisy. My beautiful butterfly still there. The purple, pink, and there's a magenta one back there. Those are salvias. Like I said, the hummingbirds love them. I'm getting a lot of marigolds all over the place. Those self-seed. The snapdragon had really pretty flowers and then they died and here comes some more. Not too sure if they're going to blister in the sun in a couple of days. Let's see, what else do I have growing? These are um, Autumn Joy Sedum, Sedum, Sedums. So those will have a little flower probably by like August, September. I have another blue mist over here that these two butterflies are enjoying. Um, let's see, these in the front are gazanias, that one. That one that's closed, they actually open when the sun hits them and since it's shaded, well, they're kind of closed, although those are open. And then these orange ones back here, those are gazanias also. Back here we have coneflowers and then this is a milkweed. I had lost it, but it's coming back, so that's nice. All these in the front are mums, chrysanthemums. And they'll, they'll start to blossom around now. And then I'll get another blossom in about maybe like October. And I have a video on these osteospermums. Again, those were blossoming in March and April so nicely. This one was packed with purple flowers. But it's too hot now, so the flowers aren't coming out. 
but it's still green and pretty. So these are my Cosmos that are barely coming out and they're barely starting to blossom. Here's some more dead dill. I leave the dill because the, the butterflies like it, the birds eat the seeds. Um, it distracts the aphids from my apple tree, so I don't get aphids on my apple tree. They'll just go over here to the dill and the aphids bring in the ladybugs. And here's some more of the verbena. So this is the shade I was telling you about that my husband built. I'll put a video on how he put them in, these poles. And then this is the shade. We are going to have to move this shade over. We're going to have to move this here because the shade was too wide. So I don't really want to cut the shade, so I'm going to have to widen the poles a bit. These are my orange and lemon trees. More dill. It's my trap crop. Some marigolds that I just recently put in here. I transferred them. They were actually over here. They were right here, but there was a lot of them, so I moved them over and I transplanted them in here. That's why they're looking a little sad, but hopefully they'll, they'll be okay. These are bean poles, I believe, and this is, um, my mind's blanking, cucumbers. It's cucumbers and pole beans, nasturtiums, that's another trap crop. I have watermelons growing over here. And by now, with without the shade, everything would have been dead because it's too it's just too hot. It's too hot. So I really need that shade. The snap peas were doing really, really well. So so pretty, but then I think they got uh th thripes, I think it was called. And who knows what this little black stuff is on the leaf. So uh, I don't like to use pesticides or insecticides, so I didn't know what trap crop to put there. So those kind of died. Those are all, the, all those back there are my sunflowers. This, this huge one right here has about 26, 28 buds. I counted them the other day. Look, it has four alone at the top. And then five, six, seven, it has so many buds. Oh, lots and lots of buds. So let me just quickly show you what it looks like. That's being shaded. It's, um, what time is it right now? I think it's like 11 in the morning. So as you can see, my flower garden gets shaded by these gorgeous trees over here because the sun's over there. So it gets shaded to about noon. And then it gets the blasting heat <laughs> at noon. So that's how that's doing. This is how this is doing. And then my vegetable garden is over here being protected also by this shade, which I'm telling you is helping so, so much. These are my marigolds. This is my bell pepper that's barely coming along. I don't know what happened, but the other bell peppers are doing good. Uh, these are basil. This is my tomato. Look, I'm so excited. Those are my first two tomatoes ever. There's another one over here, right there. These are onions. I just let them blossom and it distracts some animals. Most of the onions I already pulled out. Here's a couple left still. And then some more marigolds. Here is my other tomato. Don't forget to like do this. You gotta shake it so that the flowers pollinate themselves. This is supposed to be popcorn, but I planted them here, which the dirt sucks. As you can see, it's not growing that well. Oh, another butterfly. But look at this one that I put in the raised bed. That popcorn's doing pretty well. Although, since the sun's hitting it since yesterday, the leaves are curling now, so I guess it's not doing that well. Here is my zucchini. The zucchinis are in here. It's 
this one come in this is this is female this is male and you got to put the pollen from this one in that one so that can grow in case you didn't know here's some carrots some more onions that are blossoming i have this cute little spider white spider living in here somewhere it's so so cute oh look uh i don't know if you can see it anyway i love spiders i think they're so cute here's my bell peppers that are way bigger that one and that one's all right this one is finally getting flowers i'm so excited where is it right here there and I had cilantro and I had a bunch of ladybugs lay their eggs and the whole cycle, they went from larva to babies to eggs to, it was a whole cycle, it was awesome. This is my mulberry tree. It usually doesn't have that many mulberries because me, my daughter and my son will come out every morning and pick them when they're done. <laughs> so you never see a bunch of them because we come literally daily to come and pick them out. Here's my garden tower. I also transplanted these marigolds and some of them are kind of rough. That one's doing fine. That one's doing okay. These are my strawberries. And again, this would all be dead without this shade right here. Again, I'm in zone 8A. It's El Paso, Texas, and it's been 102, 104 yesterday. I think it's gonna be 102 today and just high 90s all the time. I have my strawberries getting some runners. I'm just waiting for this one to grow a little longer. And I'm gonna put it in here, but I need a little bit longer. I need to get a little longer. And then this one I'll bring like up here somewhere or over here. Some more marigolds. Um, that was broccoli, but I planted it too late, so of course, you know, nothing happened. But I'm just leaving it there. And some strawberries. Strawberries. I wanted to put blueberries here, but that didn't happen this year. Maybe I'll still go get some when they're discounted. And this is my lemon tree. It was looking pretty ragged because, again, I had it in the sun. And it was burning, blistering. So sad. I put it under the shade and you could see all the new growth that it's had. And this happened like in a week. It had it got all this new growth because I moved it here. So she's happy. And I get a lot of butterflies laying their eggs on my lemon trees also. I love it. Here's that popcorn. But I need like, I think I read I need like eight popcorns to actually get popcorn. And so that's not going to happen. But I was experimenting. These are the other two, but like I said, I put them on the floor. The floor, the dirt here is not the best. Here's some more beans. Oh, I got a bean! Yay! And these are zucchini too, but those are struggling over here. Struggling.com, not looking too great. I got radish. Some more bell peppers that are getting some flowers. I see you in there, flower. I see you. There she is. And some beets. I just took out a bunch of um, garlic from here. And I have also have a beehive. A little air B and B, if you will. So little mason bees put their babies in there. I love it. I love watching them. And that's about it. That's what's growing. That's what's dying. Uh, my bloombago over here is doing pretty well. And these vincas are doing really well. They love the full sun also. I actually overwintered these. So these are from last year. So are these plumbago. Those are from last year also. And almost done with my tour. It's long, I know, I'm sorry. Um, I started this last year with seeds. My kids did it with me. 
But these are the ones from seeds. This, 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 this one, this one, this one, this one, this marigold and this marigold. I planted this one and this one this year. And this one right here was also overwintered. I just transferred it the other day to here so I could fill this up because the seeds we planted weren't really growing. And then last but not least is my grapes. Those are doing okay. Hopefully they don't die with the sun, but it gets like uh, sun right now and then shade and then sun in the afternoon and then shade in the evening. So that is a tour of my garden. I hope that helped out a little bit. Again, I'm in zone 8A, El Paso, Texas. It's very hot here. It's June 7th. We get over 95 degree weather now. It doesn't go below that. We'll go up to like 105, 106. Very, very hot. Thanks for watching. See you later.